Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. Today I'm covering the priority keys that you need to access all the good loot rooms, all the good spots, some of the quest stuff for patch 0.14. So, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. Alright, so first up, I've made an image available to you guys. I'll have a link down below that you can have a bit of a cheat sheet for what keys I would recommend for each map. Now, just to break down some of the things I take into maps whilst I'm looting, depending on what map it is, I sometimes take a sick case, a docs case, or a key tool, depending on what I'm, on, I'm trying to achieve out of it. So perfect example for customs, generally I take a sick case with most of the keys and a docs case. This is because in the safes and jackets, you're gonna find stuff like Intel, you know, all the SSDs and, and all the items that can go into a docs case. You can pretty much fill a docs case of loot. Every single raid and it only takes up two squares then the sick case can also hold skull rings so pretty much most of the maps i'll take either a docs case and a sick case or both the only exception to that is something that sometimes I like to go on streets with a key tool or a shoreline with a key tool just because it, there's so many keys it takes up one more square and it gives up more room in your container to be able to hold items so generally speaking docs case and sick case for nearly every map that has a lot of keys unless it's something like interchange where there's not really a lot of items that you can put inside a docs case so therefore i wouldn't take a docs case in there but let's get into the first map so starting off with customs now for the customs keys i've broken it down into like this you want the factory key the reason why you want the factory key is it gives you access to the shortcut between new gas and to the boiler side at edge of the map or towards old gas station and also so you can flick the power on and then take the key extract out from underneath stronghold the next key I recommend is the director's office key this key is required for two quests deliver in the past and farming part three uh, but also there is a safe and three computers in there worth looting. Next up, we have the gas station storage room and the office key. Now the storage room has two med bags in there. Those med bags can spawn lead X's because lead X's spawn on customs. And it's also handy to have it because you're sitting right next to the office, which has a safe in it. So on customs, I like to loot a lot of the saves and having these two keys is just something you can do on the way through the new gas station. Now over to the dormitory. So the uh, keys for the two-story dorm, starting on the two-story, uh, is the 104 that has two jackets in it. And then across the hallway from that is the 105 key. Um, this has a safe in there and some food spawns you can grab. And then down the hallway, you want the 110 key and the 114 key. The 110 key has a safe in there as well. And 114 has a safe and is also required for a quest. Now you do need the 206 key for a quest, but I don't really add just pure quest keys on this list unless there's some other reason to go in there. Now over to three-story dorms. Now I loot a lot of the jackets inside these dorms as well. So uh, if I'm looting the dorms completely, I like to have an extra key being the 118 key. There is a couple of jackets in there. Moving upstairs, there is the 204 key, has a safe in there. 214 with a safe and then 220 has a jacket in there a duffel bag and is also required for a quest so that's chemical part two i believe and across from the 220 room is also uh two jackets on the ground so that's why i like to grab that key because i'm already going to those two jackets i go straight into that door grab another jacket sometimes a duffel bag and it just adds to it last but not least for customs i, I grab the dormed marked key you need it for a quest for starters for for cult part two but it's one of those keys that it generally pays for itself as well so um if i I do find one i usually hold on to it and then loot it because it just adds a bit of excitement to the map now uh, there probably will be people saying what about the use set key the use set key for me i don't think is worthwhile before the vaulting animation you were able to jump through the window once you got your strength up a little bit and now with the vaulting animation you can literally vault through both the windows um so just shoot the window out and then vault up through it so uh, the use set key not worth it all right moving over to interchange so first up pharmacy key uh, some med spawns in there. Lead X's do spawn on interchange. So pharmacy key, if you're over on the idea side, you can go in there and look for some lead X's and just get a top up of meds. Sometimes you go low in meds and it's just a nice place to retreat back to get some. Emicom, this one is required for a quest, but also has a lot of med spawns in there as well. Going back to having that lead X chance right there. Now, uh, I do have oil logistics key on the list. It's more of a nostalgia thing. It is required for a quest. There's a computer in there. You're not going to really find much else, but I've had a lot of issues in the past having to find this in hardcore. And so I always put it as a priority to make sure I get an oil logistics key. There's a barter trade for it, however. So you don't need to stress too much in uh, being able to get this one and you'll be able to buy it from the flea market for your questing. Ultra medical. Now this one's a bit controversial because in the past it used to be really good for lead X spawns. It's not so good at the moment. I do have a little green dot on the interchange keys that require the power to be on. Ultra medical does require the power to be on. So if you're going to go to this one, 
I would almost recommend that don't go turn the power on yourself and let someone else turn it on and then go to your ultra medical. But if you're gonna spend a long time in the map, maybe you'll do the full lap and turn power on and get it yourself. But ultra medical can spawn defibs, ophthalmoscopes and lead X's in there. Now over across to the key bar. So key bar, inner and outer keys. One of them you get from a quest, uh, being the gunsmith part 11, I believe, unless it's changed. Uh, it's probably changed actually. They've changed around the order of the gunsmith. So key bar, inside there, you can actually find a lot of guns already modded. Uh, and one of them can have a thermal site, one of the Reaper sites. So you nearly always make your money back uh, on these keys in one to two runs, um, but you need to know what mods for weapons have value because you'll go in there on the tables, there'll be heaps of weapon parts and you'll just be like, I don't know which ones to pick up. Bit of practice, you'll figure out which ones have value. And then there's guns on the wall. So you can grab some of the guns on the wall. You might want to turn the power off before you go in there. Uh, it's located kind of between Goshen and Ollie uh, on the ground floor. You can turn the power off and then that way the alarm won't go off when you open the door and everyone knowing that you're in there. Now, uh, the 11SR key and the 21WS key. So uh, these are key cards. The 11SR, starting with that one, it's the safe room, kind of known as killer safe room. The way to do this one, is you need to turn the power on go upstairs into the burger shop bathroom. When you go to the bathroom, you like lift up the urinal and you swipe it there. From there, you go back down past uh, Kiba, down into the underground in the basement. And on the left, there is the 11SR safe room. Inside there, you can actually get gold spawns, but it is another extract. So personally, if you're in a squad, this key is golden because you can send someone down there to protect it. Go send someone upstairs to swipe and then you can just extract via that way usually sits around a million rubles so if you think of it like this it's if you have 15 survives that's 15 so it's around 80,000 70,000 a use to be able to do this but there's also loot in there so you sometimes you get like any from there's a gold spawn that can do gold chains skull rings bitcoins gp coins and there's other other weapon parts that spawn in there as well sometimes you get whiskey moonshine vodka as well so it does pay for itself and it gives you another extract on the map now the 21 wsk this one is located out towards the ollie uh side outside the building in the car park there's a jump up and you swipe it to go inside the container this one used to spawn a lot of armors in there as well. There's been a few videos of people looting it 15 times to see the value, and it nearly always comes out a lot ahead. Like we're talking, you'll make your money back three to four times. It's a bit of a hidden gem, particularly if the power gets turned on, everyone's fighting in the mall. You can go loot this one and then just head out. You'll grab a heap of weapon parts and some armor and stuff, and it can pay for itself. So if you're a stash runner, this key can actually do you, do you some wonders because you can grab the, uh, grab the loot from in there and then head out. Now over to Woods. Now the only key really required for Woods is the ZB-014 key. This has 60 round mags that spawn in there. It's not very common. I've had four spawn in there in one raid and then had nothing spawn in there multiple times. Um, so it's a bit of a luck RNG involved, but the ZB-014 is also an extract. So it's on the outskirts side of the map. You'll have the outskirts extract if you have this, but it just means you don't have to go as far to extract but the main reason you want this one is those 60 round mags early wipe can be really handy and also you need to hand them in for ice cream cones so the 5.45 by 39 60 round is spawned in there and that's why it has such high value now notably there is the sturman key for this map i haven't put it on as priority list it does come out as a profit but it's also very risky so if you wanted to buy these on the flea market and run it over and over again i did a video a while ago where i looted it 100 times i think i found it was like four or five red rebels and it did come out as profitable but it was pretty risky every time running in there make sure it's clear no sturman alive and then looting it and then trying to sprint out so a risky move if you want to try and do the loot but it's a bit of fun and if you're after kappa items like the collector items um, sometimes it can help you out with that because they spawn in there as well all right now down to factory so factory the only real key that you want to use is the factory key this helps you get out three extra extracts from the factory there is the pumping station keys it says it's like helpful for the gas analyzer task it isn't i've probably done 100 runs of inside the pumping station and there's been like one gas analyzer if you do have one you can chuck it in there and, and have a look sometimes you'll find some tech items in there but it's not anything to worry about factory key is the only one you need and that is for those extracts now there are three keys i believe for ground zero one of them is required for the quest that you get at the very start something about being a mole the room that you require to have that key for you can actually just jump out on the balcony and go in through vault through the window so you don't even need the quest for that and the other keys don't have any value for you so at the moment grand zero doesn't require you to really hold on to any keys so i wouldn't stress too much about grabbing keys for that next up lighthouse so for lighthouse there is a couple of keys that are really really powerful uh, and probably underrated so 
The USEC 1 and 2, these are for the chalets. There is, oh, for the bottom chalet, there is two safes you can open. These safes can spawn your vertexes. If you get up to the vertex quest, this is really helpful. So you want to be checking those every time you run past the chalets. Also, stims and stuff, other gold spawns spawn in them as well. The Marin Key, this is the car that's located on the opposite side of the road to the chalets. There's a, a red Lexus, I think it is, or a car. Uh, and you open up the boot. This has been buffed multiple times. There was it was very powerful. Then it kind of just got forgotten, and now it's just it's really powerful again. I found vertexes in there this wipe, and it's definitely something you should be checking every time you run past. I wouldn't go out of my way for it unless you're farming vertexes for your quest or coffin. But yeah, Marin's back on the books. And then same with the next one, Hillside House Key. Previous wipes, it's been pretty ordinary. When it first came out, it was amazing. Uh, Hillside House, definitely worth looting. That's where I found my final Vertex this wipe. And uh, there's other items that spawn in there, Bitcoins and stuff like that. So you should be grabbing that one. Now I've got Operating Room on the list just because if you don't remember it, you need it for a quest. Uh, there is other spawns around. You don't have to go in the operating room to looting, but it is a quest key and I think it's worth picking up and holding on to if you do find one, particularly early wipe. And I don't know if I'll be updating this list for future wipes. So it's kind of nice to have that there just a reminder that you do need the operating room. Now, I do have two keys that you need once you get to Lightkeeper. Uh, once you unlock Lightkeeper, you can move out to the island safely and there's the radar key and the bedroom key. Both these can have massive spawns in there, big coins and great loot. And they're usually very cheap. So unlocking Lightkeeper it can take a fair bit of time but once you do have the light keeper unlocked you can literally run the island uh, over and over again and make millions and millions of rubles all right up to labs now for labs uh there are keys that will make you so much money that you'll wish you farmed labs earlier on and then there's other keys that you, it's kind of like a bragging right so starting off with the ones that will make you money management office generally speaking it's usually about 100 or 200k got 40 uses um there's gold spawns on the table and there's also the safe so it pays itself off pretty quickly the weapon Weapon testing slash training key, whatever it's called, the weapon testing key. That one will spawn lead X's and it's super cheap. You'll get lead X's, bitcoins, and there's, I think, three spawns in there. So technically, you could find two to three lead X's in the one room. And it's pretty common that you'll find the bear and also aqua plushie and other items like that that sell for good money as well. Now, the black key card. So this key card, you don't even need to buy anymore. You can get it from a quest. Um, there's colleagues part three or kill sanitar quest. You've got the option of doing one or the other. If you save up 10 found in raid lab cards and then hand over an AFH1M and the 3BTG stim, you will be able to get the black key card as a reward. I've had this card and I have farmed the black room so many times over already this while. Probably 30 raids I did or 20 raids and I probably made 10 to 20 million. In some of the raids, I was making easy one and a half million a raid. There's anywhere between 10 and 15 stims sometimes and you can get lead X's, ophthalmoscopes, and D-fibs in there. So it is like printing money. The earlier in the wipe you can get this and the faster you can farm it, the more money you'll make. It's that simple. Now late wipe, obviously everyone will have a black key card that runs labs and so therefore it's just a very contested area but the earlier in wipe you can get a black card the easier you'll make money for the red key card it's more of a flex than it is to make money there is still value to be made in there probably a couple hundred thousand on average i haven't done like a, a hundred runs of red in a long time but i probably should uh, just to get an update on what the actual value of that room is um, but overall speaking red key card room is probably one of those cards that you just have to it's like why do you own a maserati you know like you, you have a red key card to flex so you have a red key card so when you get to the point in the game where you've got so much money that you know you don't know what to do with red key card's a good option um it's more of a flex if you do find one and, and i'll note right here if you find any of these lab cards that have good value early wipe and you're not a labs player sell it on the flea market please the reason for that is you can spend all that money say a red key card's worth 30 million that's enough to fully upgrade your hideout, pay off, buy, buy all the graphics cards you need for a level three Bitcoin farm. And then you'll be able to make two Bitcoin a day for the rest of the wipe. So that is, you know, a million rubles a day, even more now, 1.2 million rubles a day for the whole wipe. And if the wipe goes for 150 days, or well, I don't know, you made 200 million from selling your red key card. Generally speaking, you should always sell these cards unless you're a mains labs person, if you find them. I like holding onto them because I make money easily anyway, because I know what I'm doing. Now, Blue Room has had little buffs over time. Um, I have found a Ledex in their last wipe and it won't pay itself off very quickly, but it is worth grabbing uh, if you're a labs main, just to get some more stims and top up your, your runs on labs. Most people I see running labs usually go in a duo anyway. Um, so they're gonna tap out all the loot they can in labs. So yeah, blue and uh, violet is also on that list as it can actually make some decent money, but generally speaking, 
it's more of just a top up of all the loot that you're already picking up and filling up those extra squares. Violet Keycard Room has a couple of gold spawns on the ground in the shelving and um, some weapon parts that can actually sell for a lot early wipe. So if you're one of the people that like going labs, jump in the Violet Room and gr grab some of those weapon parts and you'll be able to sell them from a lot on the flea. The stuff that's needed for Gunsmith that I'm talking about right here. Right now to the yellow key card for labs. This room uh, used to be like a completely crappy room. Now it's actually pretty decent. You go in there, uh, there's a chair on the right that can spawn a Bitcoin and gold spawns and all that. I had a Bitcoin spawn recently. You can also press the like console on the table there and it will set the, it'll stop the announcer voice for when you open up the parking gate. So I think there's a filing cabinet in there. There's a heap of loose spawns for gold spawns and uh, it's just a pretty decent key if you go on labs and you're farming it a lot. Now, green key card is probably the best of all the cards outside of black when it comes to loot. Green has uh, Bitcoin spawns in there. There's gold spawns in the room on the left. And then as you run around the room, there's another black key card spawn. There's uh, plenty of stims that spawn in there. And then also you can find lead X and lead X's and other items. So besides black key card, black key card is so powerful that it's just like, I'm scared of making this video in case you nerf it. But yeah, it's just a league of its own. Then when it comes to the rest of it it goes green then probably violet red blue for the loot now there's the security room key on that list um, because if you go into the red room you want the security room key so you can get the extra stuff out of the cage all right shoreline shoreline is a bit of a hidden gem when it comes to loot if you don't know where to look for it but overall speaking it's one of those maps that kind of has been plagued, dare I say it, because of cheaters, and it makes it really hard to make it a worthwhile place to go farm for loot, just because if there is a red key card spawn in there, there's pretty much a cheater that goes to get it before you can even get there. So it used to be one of my favorite maps to play a long time ago, but overall now it's pretty rough to play. Thankfully, Punisher Part 4 has been moved to Lighthouse, which means that there's not as much people just chasing down all the PvP action. So you can get some of that loot a little bit easier, but there is still a lot of action on Shoreline and it's still a pretty rough map. Now there is uh, a blue key card spawn and a red key card spawn. Well, it's technically there's three blue key card spawns and five red key card spawns on Shoreline, um, which makes it a very contested map for people trying to farm those items. Now, starting in no real order, um, probably the stuff outside the resort, the Heps key, you get this one from a quest. It's actually uh, got three weapon crates in there and an Intel spawn. It's the power station in the middle of the map. So it's worth going over there. If you have the key, check out the room um, and get the loot inside there. Cottage key is required for a quest and also has a safe in there. And then there's the cottage safe key. So cottage key is usually quite expensive early wipe, around a million rubles. But over the wipe, you actually get it uh, cheaper and cheaper and you'll make your money back anyway. So if you farm a lot of shoreline and you did 40 runs of the cottages with two safes in there, say both keys combined cost you 1.5 million, you're opening up two safes. I'd say you'd make it back in five to 10 safes anyway, as in five to 10 full clears of the cottage. Um, just because of stuff like Intel spawns, and generally when speaking when I go shoreline I've got an empty docks case um, because there is that many safes to loot so yeah you definitely want to grab those uh, keys one for the quest and then two to make money now moving up to the resort uh, just touching on the admin building there are two safe keys for the admin building as well the health resort management warehouse safe and the health resort management office safe there's two more safes you can open up in the admin building starting over on the west wing now west 104 and 112 both have blue key card spawns in there. So 104 is on the desk and then 112 is on the TV cabinet on the right. But yeah, both these also have plenty of good spawns in there. I'm not gonna do a full rundown of every item that's in each of these rooms, but let's just say West 104 is medical, West 112 duffel bags and food and drink. West 203 or 205. Now there is a red key card spawn next to the bed on 203 on the ground, um, but also 203 slash 205 has lead X spawns, med spawns, weapon crates. West 216, this one is required for a quest. I think it's Len Lease off the top of my head, uh, inside the wall, uh, sorry, inside the cabinet on the left but it also has plenty of good loot in there from grenade boxes to weapon crates and ammo. West 220, um, you can use West 220 or 219 for the quest where you have to go to the generator, but 220 is better because it has uh, gold spawns and food, meds, and weapon crates in there. Now, West 218, 21, or 22, these all go to the same three rooms. They're all linked together. In the 218 room on the blue barrel, there's a red key card spawn, but also um, there's plenty of med spawns and other just loot to grab inside these three rooms in crates. Up to West 301, in this room, there is uh, lead X spawns, weapon crates, computers, med spawns, lead X spawns. Definitely worth grabbing a 301 key. And then West 306, 
uh, is required for a quest, but also has med spawns and two dead bodies to loot. Last but not least, West 321 safe. There's a safe up there you can loot, but you do need to unlock it. Now we'll put a side note here that most people will say, but you don't need these keys. You can vault up the balconies and get into the rooms from the balconies. Yes, but I imagine they're going to fix that vaulting thing. We used to have drop down methods where we used to be able to drop down from balcony to balcony to loot inside each of the rooms that were locked, which you can't do anymore. And I imagine the vaulting thing will get changed. So you won't be able to vault through, through walls and balconies in the resort. Now over to East Wing. So East Wing, uh, you want East 107. This one has uh, lead X spawns and med crates in there or med bags in there. The sand tape or the East 110 key. This one's required for a quest, but also has plenty of med spawns in there and lead X spawns. East 205, 206. This one got, I think there's a lead X spawn and then there's med spawns and weapon crates. It's it's just a good top up room, but definitely worth the value of the key. East 222 or 226. This is probably the most valuable one outside of that blue tape key for the East Wing. Has lead X spawns, gold spawns on the ground, weapon crates, grenade crates. I think there's an MP5 spawn or there used to be. There's a weapon cabinet that can spawn a DVL. Very strong room. Definitely grab that one. East 306, 308. Required for a quest. Actually, two quests. And there's also plenty of meds and computers in there. East 310. This used to be the golden room of resort. Uh, I once had a triple Bitcoin spawn in there. It's a bit of lackluster now, but it's still worth holding on to because there is chance to gold spawns on the tables. And there's, I think, duffel bags in there as well. East 328 or sand utility. Now, these two keys are required. One of these keys are required for a quest. But also, there is a computer spawn in there. Plenty of weapon parts. And I don't think I've ever seen a Ledex in there, but on the uh, utility room on the side, there's a gold spawn that can spawn Bitcoins. Now that is all the shoreline. There's a lot of keys there. Personally, I like to do either a key tool with a docks case, or if I'm chasing a little bit more PVP, a sick case and a dock case. But you definitely want that docks case in there because you are doing those safes. You will you will fill it up. You'll be very surprised how quickly you can fill up that docks case for loot. All right, over to reserve. So first up, we got the RB, KSM, and SMP key. These keys open up the med buildings two locked rooms. You need both of these keys for a quest, but it's also a really good place to top up in uh, meds. Uh, if you find these keys early wipe, really good way to get like some of your, your med stuff done for your med tasks, but also it's just great to have for your quest later on. Generally, early wipe They'll, they'll be very expensive and by late wipe they'll be very cheap so generally i just say hang on to these ones but you should definitely if you do a lot of reserve runs it's a good way to back up your meds if you get in trouble now rb kprl this is the one that's up at the top of the dome next to the dome there's these two little shacks one shack has a filing cabinet and uh, or multiple filing cabinets and a safe in there and then across from that is a locked shack and the kprl key will unlock that You'll be able to un open up two safes and uh, there's also some intel spawns in there too in a weapon case so definitely worth getting that one if you're running onto reserve now the psp1 psp2 and the psv1 and psv2 these are for the cage area in the like underground section towards hermetic door these ones are worth their weight in gold. Early wipe, they're usually somewhat expensive, but later on the wipe, they're very cheap. If you do a duo or a trio run, you can make so much money from this section. Even early wipe, grab these keys early. You can loot the cages, have someone hit the hermetic door button. So you, what you do is you get two people, you both loot up every single item in these cages. Like you grab all of them, you get one mate to drop his bag off right next to the extract. You get the other person to run off to press the button without his backpack on, pops like an SJ6 or just runs generally. Press the alarm, run back over one person can safely extract no matter what and the other bag you can have hidden there if they die they die but at least uh i would say early wipe you'd be pulling in a million ruble plus per run just by doing these four cages it's just easy money easy money and the amount of quest items you'll get and hideout items that you'll get that you'll need even if you die you can be putting them in your butthole and uh you can be getting those hideout items done there next up all one two three and the ob key these are all required for a quest but they actually are pretty good just in general for weapon parts every one of these rooms has weapon crates in there and loose weapon parts besides the ob room sorry all the orb rooms have all the weapon parts and in each of these rooms there will be either a filing cabinet or other stuff that you can loot and ammunition loose ammunition spawns so they are needed for a quest but they're also quite good just in general for making money uh, the ob room it can spawn an intel it's very low chance and then there's gold chains that spawn on the table i haven't seen anything better than a gold chain and there's a shelf on the left i think that can spawn that but i've got that there for the quest because it's quite difficult to buy it's usually quite expensive so if you actually do get this early on it's just nice to hold on to for that quest later on called inventory check, if I'm not mistaken. Right, now we have RB, VO, and AO. VO is a marked room. Uh, there's marked room spawns just like normal, so you can get doctor's cases and stuff. And AO is another room next 
just down like the hallway from it and it has uh weapon crates in there some loose weapon spawns and some some guns that spawn in there as well yeah i think you can even get a modded ak in there so it's just a nice little cheeky room and it's usually a very cheap key rbbk and tb so bk is also a marked room uh and has all the marked room spawns but across from it is the tb room and that one also has a modded ak and a lot of weapon parts and stuff that can have a lot of value as well so you don't need to go straight down to the bunker and farm the uh raiders you can actually just loot these other rooms and get quite a fair bit of money out of it. RBAM. This is the last one I've got on the list. There's three toolboxes and then a heap of spare weapon parts and an Intel spawn in there. And I think one or two jackets. So it's it's usually quite a cheap key, but also um, if you're just running around reserve, it can make you a fair bit of money. Reserve used to be one of the best money making maps in the game, but since, I don't know, a while ago, they kind of reduced the amount of tech spawns. It dropped it off quite a bit. There are vertexes that still spawn in there, but it's just a very low chance. Now, last but not least, streets. Now, I've tried to break this down into groups just to make it a little bit easier, like area groups. But um, let's go with starting off with Concordia. Now, there's a Concordia security room. This is downstairs. In here, you've got a safe and some weapon parts and weapon cabinets. You'd be surprised how many times I'll find good scopes in there um, that will sell for 60 to 150,000, depending on which so site it is. So yeah, definitely check those tables for the sites. They're the ones that will make you the big money in this room. From there, literally just turn to your right as you walk out the doorway, go up the staircase to the very top, and you'll be pretty much where you need to go for the next lot of keys being the cinema and there's the concordia 8 room these two rooms have gold spawns all over them graphics cards you'll find in there definitely underrated keys and you should definitely be buying these if you loot this area heading over to concordia 34 this one has um coftum spawns and other gold spawns in there pretty much everything in concordia can spawn really good loot all right moving over to the uh, other end of the building 63 this one uh, has the drug room in there. You can actually avoid buying this key by just jumping through the window if you get good at doing the long jump. Um, but you can jump across and don't even need to use this key. But I, I use the key because it's just easier um, when you don't have the high level strength. Concordia 64 and the office room is 64. These ones both have, uh, well, not both, but the 64 room has gold spawns and the office room can spawn coftums and computer parts. So worth, if you're already opening up 64 to open up the office. Overall speaking, the Concordia rooms are great. I am going to do a full rundown of all the loot, all the best spawns, all the Bitcoin spawns on streets at some point in the next week or two. So I thought I'd just do the priority keys to get you an idea of where you should start looking. And then I'll, I'll top up your knowledge once you get all the keys. Next up, the check building so check 15 this one is the one required for the quest i think it's house arrest part two everyone knows that this key is a very strong key a lot of spawns in there gold spawns across from the hallway of the uh, check 15 is the stair room or the stair key that makes it so you can drop down and get the quick escape so you're not getting trapped down that end and then also you have the iron gate key which is four upstairs these keys are generally pretty uh, cheap the iron gate one and you can open up all three iron gates that are locked and you will find stuff in there that are is value. So stims and also Bitcoins and, and of the like, like GP coins. So if you're going in the streets, I'd also I'd also recommend you take a half empty injector case because you will fill it quite easily if you're doing a lot of looting. Now, somewhat over the other side of the map, the finance building, uh, it's a big yellow building uh, that has two floors. There's an office downstairs and an office upstairs that are locked. Grab both these keys if you're after computer parts and also there is a safe in the bottom room. Computer parts and filing cabinets are really good. Generally unlooted, but it has picked up a little bit of interest because there is a quest in there upstairs that doesn't require a key. But yeah, this one is definitely worth looting if you're in a group. There's just so much loot in this map. Generally speaking, you don't need to go to like the check rooms or the Concordia rooms, which are like the best loot in the map to top up and make a million rubles plus each run of streets because stuff like this finance room can literally make you a million rubles. If you just go to the safe, do all the filing cabinets, do all the computers, that building alone could make you a million rubles. So just speaking, don't have to worry about just having specific keys, get keys from across the map. Now for the school area, there is the X-ray key, which is required for a quest. That's the reason why I've got it on here, a bit, of, a bit more of a, a reference to the quest. Quest. Negotiation key. This one is actually required for a quest. It's a new one, but also there's like triple gold spawn on the ground, like three items have stacked on top of each other for me. It's just great, great value. This is the most highly fought area in the map between check the check building and the school area. There is more combat going on in this section of the map at the moment than anywhere else because there's the relaxation key that spawns in the same building as negotiation room. Now the check 13 key, this one is required for a, a really late quest, but also has very good spawns in there as well. So if you find a check 13 key, hold on to it. You will find docs cases, key tools, injector cases, all that stuff in there, and it's worth grabbing. Now over to a different area of the map, the sewer area. I've kind of looped in the whole side wall of this map 
um, for as a sewer area. So there's the rear key or it's the real estate agency key. This one's near the car extract upstairs in the building. It's a new building for this wipe. And inside there, there's three gold spawns, no, five gold spawns that is of value, but also you can just find other items on the tables and that. So a couple of spots on the ground and then look at the tables for all the good loot there. Now I've got the abandoned warehouse key on this list. At the moment, everyone's jumping through the window. You can vault through the window. I believe this is not meant to be happening, but you will need to go in there for a quest and eventually that window will get fixed. So I'm trying to future proof by putting this on the list because it has good loot in there. And also you do need to go in there for a quest. Now the relaxation key, a new key added for this wipe. Uh, it's got two uses. It was three. I wouldn't be surprised if it goes down to one. Uh, you can grab this key over in the uh, negotiation room building. And this relaxation room is probably the most valuable room-ish. Yeah, probably the most valuable key for a single use or per use in the actual map. Because when you go in there, there's all these like sofa cushion couch things. Every single one of these couches can spawn a Bitcoin or a gold spawn and also next to the couches on the ground and sometimes the tables too. So I have found probably on average one Bitcoin every time I've gone in there, but most likely there's been stuff like a lion on top. And I usually make about half a mil to a mil nearly every time I go into this building. That's how valuable it is. There's those new like statues. There's heaps of them spawning everywhere. And there's a heap of duffel bags on top. Now the MVD key, no one even knows that this key exists. It's usually up on the flea market for about 10K rubles. And it's um, to the area behind the sewer extract. It's a new building where the new boss Colin spawns. And for this key, it opens up a little side room uh, to the office on the left as you enter the building. And uh, if the boss is there, don't go in the front door because you'll get annihilated. But if you do, do go in this room, there's six gold spawns in this room from anything but when i say gold spawn it means anything from like a bitcoin all the way down to like a gold chain you know it could be a lion vase cat horse all those things spawned pro kills so yeah on the left hand side of the printer like literally on the top of the the paper tray for the printer down the bottom next to the print on the ground next to the guy's hand on the body on the ground and then underneath the window there's a t a t5000 tx5000 spawn there's just lots of spawns in here and it's so cheap you should be checking it every time you run past it but it's also a very highly spawning key so the great thing about that is it stays cheap even when people buy it um buy it up after i talk about it it literally goes back to being twenty thousand rubles just because 40 uses and spawning a lot now over to the style bat area i've got the beluga key this one's required for a quest but there is also a bitcoin spawn on the ground on the shelf uh, underneath the shelf on the right as soon as you come in the front door and then there's also spawns on the table for streamer items and bitcoins so not a high chance to spawn bitcoins but definitely does spawn in there i have the pwned 215 key this is for, required for a quest so it's worth just keeping note of that you need it for a quest it's a little bit rarer so i've put it as down as a priority key and then the terra Groot arms and meeting room key so the meeting room uh, might have a quest item inside there it's one of those chance to spawn in multiple locations but the um Arms room key has nearly always at least one M4, if not three M4 spawning in the weapon racks and a heap of weapon crates. But definitely worth checking out those ones if you're over that way. There's also a safe in the building as well. So you can make a bit of money over there. Now I've got over as Lexos, uh, the Lexos office key, which is a 20 use key. You probably never get through all 20 uses because the closed section key is a single use key. This one usually spawns off Caban, cost about a million rubles. And if you get one, you need it for a quest. So hold on to it because it's going to cost you money anyway. So so definitely if you're doing your quest, hold on to the closed section key because you'll need that for getting in there. There was ways in previous wipes where you could jump over the wall. I don't know if that's still possible, but just go with the safe bet that you probably won't be able to do that forever. And so I've got that on the list. Now I have the tar bank key also part of the Lexo section because literally you run out of Lexos across the road tar bank. I loot this every time I go past. It definitely pays for itself very quickly. I would say on average, if you don't know what I'm what, where I'm talking about, there's two doors that this key opens. So you, say you'd go through the tar bank building 20 times per key. If you open up both doors, there's the two safes and two registers. I would on average make about, there'd be a thousand US dollars slash Euro combined plus another 20 to 30K of rubles. So a thousand Euro is about what? 150K plus 20,000 in cash, 20, 30K in cash. So I'd say you're making about 150 to 200,000 rubles every time you loot these two doors. So 20 uses, at, let's let's go 150. So what's that? 3 million this key makes per purchase. So you, you do tar bank two rooms makes you three million per key and the one thing i do most like uh, the most reason i use this key is it's there's so many items in these cash registers and saves it maxes out your leveling of attention skill per run of doing it so if you go into streets you run to the tar bank 
your loot these two safes all the money goes in your docs case so it doesn't even take up any of your loot so if you die you've still got 150k in the bank and then also it's leveling up your attention skill so i'm going very like down to the detail here but if you do this run a thousand times you'll max out your attention skill which means you'll loot stuff instantly. So when you go to search something, it'll instantly search um, or has a chance to. So if you do a lot of streets, every time you run past tar bank, loot the tar bank safe. It's worth it. It's leveling up your skills and it makes you 150K locked away in your container. And with the BTR running around, it's nice to have about 30K per raid to be able to pay to send off items through the BTR. Now, the very last key I've got on this list is the bloodied key. If you find this one, it's needed for a quest uh, called the, the door. It's rare. It's got a spawn that I've ran 50 times, I reckon, this wipe and still haven't seen it. Um, but if you do get it, if you die with it, it will disappear and it is a single use. So you can't sell it on flea. So if you do grab it, chuck it in your stash, go in as a group, go hand in the door quest and uh, get that quest done. So you, when you do the door quest, you need to take Wi-Fi cameras in with you. So a bit of uh, better safe than sorry. Make sure you take in that. All right. I just did that all in one take, all off memory and trying to do it as the best of my ability. I am trying to update all my guides to help you guys get better at Escape from Tarkov and have the most success in your time in this game. I much, I very do love this game and it's a very big passion of mine to play it. Even though I do make a living from this, uh, it's still my favorite game of all time. And I've said multiple times that if they were to fix all the issues with this game from like lag, desync, bugs, FPS, all that stuff, it'd be the greatest game of all time. Even with its current layout of the game. They wouldn't even need to do anything. Slap a 1.0 and fix all the issues. Best game of all time. But anyway, I'm rambling. Um, guys, if you got to this point of the video and you haven't subscribed, please do. I put a lot of time and effort into making all these videos with my editors and uh, we put a lot of pride in our work. Help us get to that million subs this year and uh, I'm going to be trying my best to make as many videos as possible for you with as much info and depth as possible. Also, just before I wrap up, I do stream on Twitch Monday to Friday. So come check out my live stream on Twitch. Go give us a follow over there. If you've got any questions, feel free to uh, hit me up over there. Put it down in the comments below if you uh, think I missed a key so everyone else can figure out which keys that you should add to the list and then yeah make sure you save the uh the, the image so you've got something to refer to if you need to exclamation mark keys works on my twitch channel as well if you ever forget um, we'll try and keep it updated but exclamation mark keys will give you the latest version of this image in my twitch chat lastly guys make sure you like comment and subscribe and lastly i'll see you next time